So, so Lenovo just released a new line of gaming laptops called the Lenovo Lock. So if you're a gamer looking for a portable yet affordable option or just starting off into PC gaming, well, here are five reasons why you should consider getting yourself one. Alright, before anything, just to let you all know that although this laptop is spelled as L-O-Q, it is pronounced as Lock. So keep that in mind. Alright, think of Lenovo Lock as the baby brother to the Lenovo Legion lineup. It aims to be the entry laptop for those who want to start gaming but at a reasonable price point without sacrificing on performance. Actually, that should already be point 0.1 and point 0.2 no matter let's dive in into that further now first of all is the actual design and build quality now this should be half of the reason why you should consider buying this particular gaming laptop as the lenovo lock surely delivers in this department now the storm gray color scheme and the subtle blue accents are very understated and minimalist which i really love which means that you won't scream as a oh my god i'm such a gamer guy in the classroom with a fancy spaceship looking laptop now the body itself, even though it's plastic, it is solidly built with minimal screen flex and keyboard flex when you press it in. Now even the hinge looks and feels super robust, which is probably why the only thing that Lenovo flexes is the mil standard 810H US military grade standards. Now also important is the sheer range of ports available on this laptop, so you don't need to leave the dongle life, as Lenovo did give this a lot of thought for gamers. Now on the left there is the 3.5mm mic combo jack and a USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 that supports up to 140 watts USB-C charging and a DisplayPort 1.4. On the right, there is a physical camera disengage switch, which I love how it's there instead of typically putting the switch next to the camera above the screen to keep things very minimal. And then there's also a USB 3.2 Gen 1 port. Now behind the laptop, there's two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, an Ethernet port, a HDMI 2.1 port with support up to an 8K 60Hz screen and a proprietary Lenovo DC in connector for a 170 watt fast charging power brick. Yup, imagine my surprise that this thin power brick could actually deliver freaking 170 watts of power. Next would be the keyboard and the screen. Now when gaming, there are two main components that you will be obviously interacting with, which are the screen and the keyboard, and also the mouse, but that is not part of the laptop. And don't think about saying why use a mouse when you can use a trackpad. Nope. Now firstly, yes, the touchpad is super responsive and accurate, which is great. And it's also great if you're a beast who thinks that you can also game on a trackpad and that goes the same for you controller fans out there. Don't think that you are a real game. Wait, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. So the main keys of the keyboard are a full size including the arrow keys and they even managed to fit in a full number pad on the side. Now the keys are very tactile with a super deep and satisfying travel of 1.5mm and you have the option to have the backlighting to be 4 zone RGB for a little bit of possess. Now as for the screen, there are a few options but the one which I have over here is the 165Hz WQHD IPS panel. Now it is 100% sRGB color accurate and actually looks really awesome while gaming. Now colors and the contrast are more than satisfactory but only at 350 nits of brightness so don't expect to be gaming on the beach with this laptop. Does anyone game at the side of the beach? Let me know. <laughs> but of course, the main highlight is this 165 hertz that feels so buttery smooth and is also NVIDIA G-Sync compatible, so no screen tearing over here. Now, I'm sure some of you may wonder, what's the point of having a 165 hertz WQHD screen when you won't be crossing the 165 hertz limit in most games? Well, you have that point, but with this extra resolution and better color reproduction on this screen compared to other panel choices, it will make your gaming experience way much more enjoyable and you will be able to tell a difference. Similar to the difference that it makes for me if you like and subscribe to Adam Lobo TV. You knew that was coming, right? <laughs> well, if you like a written version of this video, do head out to our website at www.adamlobo.tv and also join our community Discord channel to enter our 100,000 subscriber giveaway. It is our way of saying thank you, our dear viewers. All the links will be down below and thank you very much in advance. And let's move on to reason number three. 
Now, a feature specific to this laptop, since it is a Lenovo gaming product, is the inclusion of the LA1 AI chip. Now, this chip uses the Lenovo AI Engine Plus proprietary software for machine learning and tunes your system by automatically giving you the optimal performance that you need. And you can think of this as a brain that connects and processes the information from all parts of the laptop to help improve the laptop's performance not just for gaming but also everyday tasks as well. Now you can access it through Lenovo's Vantage software which is so simple to use even for beginners. There's even the Legion 8 system where you can just toggle between the different settings very easily without digging into 10 different menus. Now, Lenovo also mentioned that this is the only laptop within its price range to have a multiplexer switch. Now, if you are unfamiliar, it is basically the ability to automatically switch between the integrated graphics to the dedicated GPU to deliver the best battery life for the laptop. Which of course brings us to the graphic card that powers this laptop. Now, you can get the Lenovo lock with up to RTX 4060. As you can tell from the GPU options available, they are really hitting right at the budget gamer that is looking for the best performance to get their best money's worth. Now, Lenovo also says that their gaming laptop range will squeeze in every hertz of the performance it could per watt. So cooling is important to keep the system running at highest rated speeds. It is also equipped with a dual 85mm high-speed fans with lots of ventilations which you can see from this huge air intakes. Next would be the processor. Now, as for the latest laptop range, of course, it needs to come with the latest hardware. Makes sense, right? Well, here in Malaysia, you can spec the Lenovo Lock up to a 13th generation Intel Core i7-13700H processor. But I will highlight a couple of processors so you can get a better idea on what you could be getting. Now, the mid-tier Intel Core i5-13420H processor has a total of 8 cores which are 4P cores and 4E cores. It also comes with 12 megabytes of Intel Smart Cache and a max turbo frequency of 4.6 GHz. Now, if you're looking for more power, definitely go for the Intel Core i7-13700H processor that has a total of 14 cores, 6 are P cores and 8 are E cores with 24 megabytes of Intel Smart Cache and a max turbo frequency of 5.0 gigahertz. Now, in case you're not familiar on what are P-Cores and E-Cores, well, to really simplify it is that P-Cores are the processing cores that will do all the heavy lifting when you're running heavy applications such as gaming and whatnot. This will ensure that you're getting the best performance out in the chip. But it comes at the cost of power or battery life if you're running the laptop on a battery. Now, to balance this out, Intel has E-Cores, which handles smaller tasks such as background tasks and web browsing, which uses less power and save you on battery life. Now, let's not forget about RAM and ROM, which is also super important. And I'm happy to tell you that this comes with a blazing fast DD DDR5 RAM, which is rated at 5200 megahertz and PCIe Gen 4 SSD that has bonkers of performance as well. Then is future proofing. So, more and more laptops are starting to have integrated chips used for things like RAM and SSD, all in the name of portability. Now, this in effect could introduce more e-ways as you can't readily upgrade parts of the laptop, so the whole laptop goes out the window and into a landfill. So it's great that Lenovo is keeping parts of this laptop user upgradable such as the RAM which has two slots and SSD also has two slots as well. Now you can even swap the Wi-Fi card if you wish which is such a simple thing but it will help you to keep your laptop hopefully running for a longer time. Now all you need is a simple screwdriver to open a bunch of screws and you're in. Surely a two big thumbs up for this. So in conclusion, what do I think of the Lenovo Lock? Well, it is decently priced, build quality is great for its class and the overall performance is more than adequate for beginner gamers or someone who has a little more budget for more performance. Talking about the price, the Lenovo Lock starts at 3,849 ringgit and you can get it now in stores or the Lenovo official website, Shopee or Lazada, which I'll link it down below and you can customize it to your own liking and needs, which is always a welcoming fact compared to a lot of other brands that only offers a specific specific set of specs for the user. So with this, do let me know what you think. Would you get this new Lenovo lock? Let me know down below.